Welcome again to one of the most exciting lessons on Educator.com, the story check-in all about characters. Believe it or not, you can't tell the story without characters, and there's an old saying in literature called, well, it goes something like this, character drives story. Story does not drive characters. We'll kind of find out what that means later. So, to make characters, we have to make them believable. And there's one fundamental thing that'll make any character believable, whether it's a person, uh, anthropomorphic rabbit, whether it's a planet that can talk to you, whether it's a magical creature, doesn't matter. It's going to say, all human beings seek happiness. All human beings seek happiness. I could easily change this famous quote by this really cool guy, Aristotle, to say, all sentient beings seek happiness. All characters seek happiness. But that is so general that we have to kind of narrow it down into specifics. What a character thinks will make it happy or what will make it happy is going to kind of determine who or what that character truly is. But first off, let's go with something very, very specific here. Characters are people in a book that somehow pursuing one, what they want to be happy, but Characters are not the following things. They are not their costumes or their appearance. They are not their roles in the book, and they are not their occupations, and they are not their abilities, talents, or superpowers. This is very, very important because if you describe a character this way, you're describing a caricature. In fact, to kind of invoke a popular film critic, if you can describe a character without revealing to their appearance, their occupation, or their role in the story, or possibly even their gender, and you can still describe that character, then you have a really, really strong character. But if you have to talk about their costumes or appearance or role in the book, and you can't talk about anything else, not a very strong character. Let me give you an example.